Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So on today's video, I am doing seven different eyeliner looks that you can do when you're doing your makeup. And honestly, eyeliner changes the whole look of your face. You can get elongated eyes, bigger eyes, um, longer eyes, more cute eyes, sexier eyes. There's so many different techniques that you can do that change your whole look of your face. Some eyeliner looks suit people more than others um, and some just really flatter them. Um, so it's good to work out what suits you the best. Um, but yeah, there's so many different techniques that you can do. Some drag your eyes downwards and some just um, lift them up. But yeah, it's good to know different eyeliner techniques and to see what looks good on you. Um, and I'm doing a lot that are really on trend at the moment as well um, especially on TikTok. Also I'm going to give you some tips on how to get the perfect winged liner because I know it's such a struggle but I give you like two or three tips which will honestly change your whole eyeliner game like it's going to make it so much easier for you. By the way before I start the eyeliner tutorial I want to talk about my earrings from Ana Luisa. They are so so pretty. They're a US company and I just feel so glam. I just absolutely love the way they look. I never wear hoops but I see a lot of celebrities wearing them lately and a lot of influencers and they just look so pretty. Look at these ones. These are so cool and I think they look really good with my makeup look. I'm reading about it here and it says they are a sustainable brand and they are carbon neutral so 100% of the carbon emissions related to our products life cycle are offset. They do have fair prices so all jewelry starts at $39 and there is no markups. Um, I love how it is affordable for such amazing quality things. So these are really long lasting like all their jewelry so they don't fade and they don't go all yuck um, and these earrings that I'm wearing here are actually silver. It says 925 in the middle of them so that is really cool. I feel like a little bit luxe. Also there is limited batches of each um, jewelry item so this ensures the highest production standards while eliminating excessive waste. So I love that about the company they are trying to be good to the environment even the packaging that it comes in is made from 100% recycled paper it just comes in you know a cardboard box and that is literally all you need and I love how it's small so it kind of reduces waste and it's quite cute and they come in these cute little bags here they're like little envelopes and you can open it up like this they are crafted with care from the best metals and they have a 365 day warranty so it goes to show that they last like for ages by the way mother's day is coming up on may the 9th and what better gift would be some jewelry i'm so gonna give her um one of the earrings that i'm not wearing at the moment anna luisa is doing 15 percent off for mother's day so i'll leave a discount link at the top of my description box if you want to go and check them out. So the sale ends on May the 9th. So the last day to guarantee shipping before May the 9th, which is Mother's Day, is if you are from the US, Wednesday, May the 5th. So make sure you order before then if you want them sent to you before Mother's Day. And if you are from anywhere else in the world, you need to order by Monday, May the 3rd, and then you should get them by Mother's Day. So how exciting. But I think that Anna Luisa would be such a good idea for a Mother's Day gift because you can buy them perfume, you can buy them flowers, Hours, but honestly they don't last forever and every time they wear their jewelry they're gonna remind themselves of you which is really cool. I always give things to my mum on Mother's Day because of everything that she does for me. She's you know cared for us girls all her life and it's just really important to celebrate your mum. Like I know you should be doing that all the time but Mother's Day is a good day to just remember who you are grateful for um, and just to make them feel a little bit special. So I'm so going to gift uh, my mum one of the earrings um, and I know she's obsessed with jewellery. Like honestly she has so much jewellery and she'll keep buying and buying and buying so she's going to be obsessed with this jewellery. And also I just want to say that not everyone is lucky to have a mum in their life so you don't need to just buy this for a mum. Literally buy it for your sister or your friends or your best friend or yourself because it is so good to treat yourself um, and you just feel so good once you buy something for yourself and you just feel like a little bit special. You always know that you're going to wear it like on date nights, on special occasions, when you go out. Okay so I've just taken them out honestly like look how much more plain I look. <laughs> plain but do you know what I mean? They really just dress you up like a good pair of earrings just really make you feel glamorous so that's without them. These ones are called Toda and right now they're $106.25 that's New Zealand dollars. Um, so that's 15% off so they usually are $125. They are hypoallergenic so they are good for people with sensitive ears. Um, they are stainless steel oh, and they have 14 karat gold plating 
and materials 14 karat gold on brass and cubic zeronias so the diamonds are cubic zeronia so as you can see oh it says anna luisa just here this one has like a rose of diamonds on one end and one end is gold and same with the other side as you can see here these are ones that clip open so you can like open the latch and push it closed which is an easy way to get earrings in and out of your ears. So these ones that I'm going to give mum are called Celeste. And they are $106.25 with the 15% off sale. And they're usually $125. As you can see here they've got all cubic zeronias like on the star. And then they've got also little diamonds like on the side. And then the side is a little moon. As you can see it's got little diamonds on that side. They are really cute. So these are like sleeper earrings, so you open them up and then you can like push and click them in place. I'm going to show you guys how they look like on. Hopefully mum won't mind. I just won't say that I've tried them on. Okay, so this is how they look like on. Honestly, it's so cute. I like these if you want to be like a little bit more subtle. I really like these. So pretty. Okay, I really like these. I don't want to give them away now. Oh my god, I can't keep them for myself, okay? I'm going to give them to mum. And I'm going to show you the hoop earrings up close. So these are called Tia Medium Gold. And guys, right now they are $68 with the 15% off sale. They're usually $80. Um, and these are also 14 karat gold plated. So these are hypoallergenic and these are titanium as well. And they are 6.5 grams each so that's good to know they're not actually that heavy they don't weigh your ears down or anything and here they are up close um very pretty even at the back of the little butterfly at the back it says Anna Luisa um and they're really good butterflies too like they're really tight so they're not gonna like fall off um and I just love the size and I love the thickness and I love how they're titanium as well because my ears are so super sensitive so I always need earrings that are hypoallergenic so that is good I didn't think that they would look good all together but honestly look at this I reckon it does so go and check them out I've got that discount link at the top of my description if you want to go and see what they have on their website okay so this is me without eyeliner I feel like such a baby face without any of it on but I think it looks really like natural and pretty I just don't normally wear like no eyeliner and i've been starting to wear eyeliner on the waterline now so it does make a difference so there is different products you can use for your eyeliner so you can either use a black eyeshadow and a fine brush um i use the winged liner eo6 brush from sigma um i also use this for my inner corner of my eye nothing can beat this brush it is so nice and small and just gets in the areas i might need to buy a new one though because it's kind of like tapered from using it for so long um, and then also you can use a liquid liner. My preference is the pen version, not like the dip version because I feel like you have to keep dipping it in and the brushes are like a bit flimsy and not the greatest. But my favorite liquid liner of the moment is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Liner. This thing is the best. Um, I've had mine for a while now, as you can see. It's a tip like this. It is so pigmented and it is so easy to just like draw it on with um i find that if you have a really good liquid liner that can make a huge difference to how you do your eyeliner as well you can also do eyeliner with brown eyeshadow so i use the anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette oh my gosh look how dirty it is um but this is oh my gosh it is actually tragic but this is what i use like every day out of all the palettes i own this is the one i use because it's just the most trustworthy palette i use this black but also for liner i will use the rustic color and cypress umber color so i'll take either of these two if you're wondering why my lips look extra plump it's because i got lip filler okay um i'm doing a whole vlog on that um this is the third day of them healing so they are still a little bit swollen and they are a little bit bruised as you can see in there you can see it more so on the camera so i'm going to take my brown eyeshadow if you are a beginner at eyeliner i wouldn't go in straight with like coal or liquid eyeliner um, I would go in with eyeshadow because it's more forgiving. You can smudge it out a little bit more and it's a bit more workable. And still to this day, I use eyeshadow in my eyeliner. The first step is just using this to line the top of your eye. Which is a good... This is literally just eyeliner, no wing, no flicks, no points. Um, and this will just make your lash line look thicker. Mm. 
this is the difference between both eyes as you can see this makes my lash line look thicker and um, it just makes my eyes stand out a little bit more than this eye this is just mascara and this is eyeliner this is perfect if you are doing like more bold eyeshadow looks and stuff and you just want to thicken up your lash line or this is perfect if you're wearing false lashes or individual lashes because it will cover up um, them on the top of the lash line a bit better. Okay, so I just did that eyeliner to the other side so you can see the difference in how it looks like on me. Um, so yeah, that's just lined the upper lash line with brown eyeshadow. Okay, so next step is adding a wing. So this is the point where it is foolproof. So you can see like the eyebrow here. You always want to draw a line from the outer corner. So go right to the outer corner and see the lower lash line. That's kind of what you want to like follow on from not the whole lower lash line but the bottom of the lower lash line that's where you want it to like continue from so if you keep that tip in mind you'll always get the line straight and you'll get them even on both sides they always say to start on your side that you don't write with but I always start on my right hand um so yeah that's just because they say you're so used to doing things with your right hand that that you'll find that side easy and you'll find the other side hard so it's best to do your bad side and then go in with the other side but I don't do that so but that is a tip okay so what you want to do is go from the lower lash line and straight up to your eyebrow and don't go too high like literally just go like that um eyeshadow like I said is so much more forgiving so there we go you do your line so from the edge of that um eyeliner that you did like down here you want to just connect it up like literally go up and meet up at that line all you do is fill that gap in um and if you really if you do have really hooded eyes a tip is draw your line upwards and then start from the top and then draw it down to where your hood is so the hood would be like here stop there and then go down like don't connect it like don't draw it straight across like how i did like you draw the bottom line which i did first then from the top draw it to the, where the crease is and then go downwards and then fill that bit in because when you then look straight you don't get that weird like you know it doesn't go like this and it doesn't like change the shape of the eyeliner I always do brown eyeshadow um, I think it looks a little bit lighter and a little bit more like natural and prettier. Um, but I have been getting into my darker eyeliner because Matthew actually said that the black stands out more. So ever since he said that, I've been starting to do black. Um, because I don't know, maybe he thinks my eyes stand out more with black. And that is true. Like the darker the color, the more like it's going to make your eyes pop. Okay, the next step is cat eye. So just do all these steps again, like the first step on the top second step with the wing and the third step is the point okay so where your inner corner is you want to elongate that inner corner by drawing a line um and you want to make sure they're both even so you really want to look straight into the mirror as you're doing it like that Ooh, see it like made my eye look more cat eye already and it looks longer than this eye um, and if you want, you can make it extreme, which is what I've been doing lately. Um, and I've been, like, really making it long, like, like, probably that long. Um, because it really, as you can see on the side here, compared to that side, this eye looks more rounded, this eye looks more, like, elongated. Because my eyes are slightly different shapes, so I need to make sure that it looks straight into the mirror. And the tip number one, if you are using eyeshadow, you don't want to draw it like, you don't want to attach it up in here because it will naturally from the top come down naturally. And if you do draw it up in there, it's going to smudge down. It's going to smudge down here and just ruin the point look. That is something I've learned. Um, so yeah, don't reconnect it up because it's naturally going to, like when you blink, it's naturally going to come down to that inner, like really inner waterline part anyway. Um... So yeah, I just suggest drawing the line. So this is how it looks like. I really like this. Like I can't go back. I think it makes your eyes look so much bigger, so much more elongated, so much more like sexier. And it's what I always do. But I always draw the 
um, lower lash line. But this is actually what some people do. They do the inner corner and outer corner with no lower lash line because they think it just opens their eyes up a little bit more. So this is another style you can do. Just winged liner with the inner corner really elongated. Um, and I think this looks really cool. If you're not into the whole dark lash line um, and you want more of like a daytime look I guess. Next eyeliner step is doing eyeliner on your bottom lash line and you'll see how this turns in from like a day look to a night look and makes you look more like sultry and sexy and it really elongates your eyes. Like this is something I've been loving doing lately. Um, so you just want to take your like pencil eyeliner and like I said from about here like the so your eyeball, your like blue part, whatever color your eye is, just start from down there and then line, if that makes sense. Because if you go too much far in, it's going to smudge down because that's your tear duct and where it gets like really watery and it will smudge. Really like put black in there. It just made my eyes look so much more like foxy. I don't know. And it just made my eyes stand out a whole bunch more. Um, having no black in the waterline with winged liner almost makes it look like it's like dragging it down like this. But when you put black in it kind of just snatches it and like really elongates it. It's hard to explain but you can see the difference here. Um, we can do this with liquid liner um, to show you like the difference between... Pa um, eyeshadow and liquid liner. This just gives more of a sharp and defined look like This one stands out even more. It's a lot more sharper. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like with eyeliner like like a lot of it on the lower lash line. I do put like brown eyeshadow under here when I'm doing this look, but not with the black. So you just wanna like smudge it underneath. I reckon this does look cool on some people. Okay, so there's the difference with black smudged underneath. Um, as you can see, it kind of loses the heightened elongated effect this is how it looks like from far away so as you can see it's even more darker um and it is good if you want a night out and if you want to be like quite smoky i just balance the top out a little bit by putting like darker eyeshadows on the top but yeah that's that one okay so next is something a little bit more fun so this is what a lot of people do as well so you want to take your eyeliner and it kind of like makes your eyes look bigger Okay, so there is another eye makeup technique that people do. And as you can see, it just changed my whole eye. Like it kind of made it look like I had less of a hood, as you can see. It kind of really opens up your eye a little bit. Out, so you guys can see what it looks like from far away. So you know what I mean? Like it just, it's something different, but it looks cool. Puppy eyes is also another massive um, trend and it is really popular among Asian women. Um, and this really like just makes you look really cute and it really makes your eyes look bigger. So, oh, this is gonna ruin my makeup, but oh well, we're gonna use our micellar water. Just start from the lash line about here and then smoke it out with, um, some black eyeliner and then just smoke it underneath. You only want to put eyeliner on the waterline like on this outer half. So I'm just going to take off that eyeliner in the middle of the waterline. Like just down here. So this is the puppy eye look. Um, as you can see it kind of drags my eyes down a little bit I think. Because I'm so used to that elongated look. But I think it looks still kind of cute. It makes my eyes look so small though. I don't know. I find that they look so much different, but as you can see, eyeliner changes your whole face. So the way you do it is so important and figuring out what works best with your face shape um, is important as well. Um, so yeah, this is the puppy eye look and this was the last eyeliner look that I'm doing. There is like thousands of other eyeliner looks. There's like 
double winged liner we can do like one wing and two wing um i've never really done that before i don't really fancy doing that kind of look i um, mean there's also a look where you can just go like the eyeliner all the way around kind of like how i did that line with the wing and then up you just go wing up and then do it all the way around and attach it to the inner corner um so yeah that is a few more eye looks you can do but i'll go on forever if i keep doing more makeup so looks. that was the end of the video i hope you guys liked all those different eyeliner techniques and we'll try some out um try ones out that you haven't done before and you may be surprised it might make your makeup look so much more flawless and you'll look so much better and i know like please try out this technique like my favorite cat eye technique because i'm sure it's gonna suit everybody um you guys will absolutely love it and yeah i hope it was helpful and remember with anna luisa to go and shop for mother's day or for yourself or for your friends remember they have a 15 percent off sale at the moment on their website so just order before may the 3rd if you are from anywhere else in the world to get it before mother's day and by may the 5th if you are from the us so anyway like this video if you guys did and you want to see more tips and tricks videos and so like this video if you guys want to see more tips and tricks videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i upload every saturday at 8 a.m new zealand time i know this video is not uploaded on a saturday i'm sorry about that so anyway i hope you guys have a great week and i'll see you guys in my next week's video Bye.